Welcome back to Dana Does Things. In these times of quarantine and separation, I've been thinking about different modes of communication. We're going old school here and making a postcard to let someone know you're thinking about them. We're going to paint a paper plane on a blue sky, so we'll start by sketching out the plane and then covering the area with masking fluid so that we can paint with abandon without worrying about getting paint in the space where we want it to stay white. Don't worry too much if you can't get the masking fluid in perfect straight lines. We're going to fix that after when we outline it. Now go do your dishes while you wait for your masking fluid to dry. It is time to paint a cloudy blue sky. If you've watched any of my videos lately, you'll know clouds are my white whale. I will continue painting and drawing and trying to make beautiful clouds if it kills me. One day my channel will just be a chronicle of me descending into madness while the thoughts of painting clouds consumes me. To do the technique we're trying today, we'll first need to dampen the paper with clean water until it shines a bit. This will help our paint move and blend. Cover the surface with your blue mixture, then using a tissue, blot up the color where you want your clouds. We're trying to make light and fluffy diffused clouds today. Continue going over the darker areas to layer up on color and make the clouds really pop. Layering watercolor is always the key. When needed, dab away with your tissue to soften the edges. Next, we'll mix up a dusty purple color by adding, well, purple watercolor and a touch of gray. This will be our cloud's shadow to add some depth. Use the same technique of layering and dabbing. I tried to layer another color, but abandoned that pretty quickly, so we'll just ignore that. Now we'll clean up our workstation while we wait for everything to dry. Time to peel off the masking fluid using clean, dry hands. Then get overexcited and begin ripping your masking tape off and rip your paper. Lesson learned, take your time. Erase away your guidelines if you had any. Now I'm using an acrylograph pen to outline my drawing, but a Sharpie or thicker tipped marker would work just fine. Outline your paper plane using your marker to clean up your possibly wonky paint lines. Now draw a nice little swirly tail. Add a little message if you want, or leave that for the back. For that added authenticity, put in place a spot for your stamp and some lines to put an address. I hope everyone is staying connected with their friends and family during these times. And don't feel like you're burdening people when you reach out because chances are they need it too. Stay safe, thanks for watching, and we'll see you next week.